Last example is called a vacuum flux. Now, this flux is a very amazing thing because it brings all three methods of heat transfer together in one. Or, you can say that this vacuum flux works to prevent all three methods of heat transfer, conduction, convection, and radiation. If you put liquid in here and it is cool, and you cap down the cap, liquid in here will be able to remain cool for even a few days. Same thing occurs if it's hot. If you put a hot liquid in here and you close the cap, this liquid in here will remain hot for a few days if it is a good vacuum flask. How does it do it? The key point over here is that the sides of the flask are almost completely enclosed in a space where air has been sucked out of, which means this part is a vacuum. Over here, in addition, the part with the vacuum has glass silver surfaces. And over here are a plastic cap and a foam plastic support. So let's talk about how it prevents heat transfer. Firstly, if there is a vacuum, it prevents all thermal energy transfer by conduction and convection. Of course, it's not a complete vacuum cover, but it's pretty good already. The next one is a silvered surface. The inner silvered surface reflects radiation from hot fluids back into the flask. And the outer silvered surface will reflect radiation in the external surroundings away from the flask. Therefore, this would also serve to minimize radiation absorption or radiation emission. The other two are the foam plastic support and the plastic cap. The foam plastic support is generally an insulator of heat, so it would reduce thermal energy transfer by conduction. The plastic cap from here blocks any kind of heated air over here to flow out through convection. Also, the plastic cap is an insulator, so it will prevent thermal energy transfer by conduction. Also, it would prevent loss of material through evaporation. So in summary, there are three ways in which thermal energy can be transferred by conduction, convection, and radiation. Conduction and convection requires a material medium, but radiation does not require any material medium.